Shalom, I want to give all the praise and all the glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akyam who are pushing this truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, I'm going to be in uh, Through the Spirit, Wisdom of Solomon, Chapter 8. <clears throat> It reads, Wisdom reacheth from one end to another mightily, and sweetly does she order all things. All right, and the reason why wisdom reaches one end of the earth to another is uh, because right now the internet, right? Psalms 19, it says, to the chief musician, a psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and a firmament showeth his handiwork. And because the satellites for the internet are in the heavens, right? So let's keep reading. Verse 2. Day to day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no, just because all day long, around the clock, you got the Israelites teaching the scripture. All right? Day unto day, night unto night. Different sides of the world. You know, we're, we're all teaching this Bible on the internet. <clears throat> and I'll jump down to, well, I'll read three. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard because every, every nation, every country, you have Israelites on the internet teaching this truth according to knowledge. Verse four, their line is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. Again, it's through the internet. And that's why it says this goes through mightily, okay? So you got it. <laughs> See, like guys like Vocab Malone, they can't they can't really do nothing for the, against this truth because it's too mighty for them, you know? It's going across the ends of the world via the internet, right? For every one video he puts up, you know, any, you know, Vocab Malone, we, we're putting up thousands of videos so he's there's no there's no uh, hiding this truth right wisdom solomon chapter 8 verse 2 and it's talking about wisdom it says i loved her and saw her out from my youth i desired to make her my spouse and i was a lover of her beauty all right because the prophets the majority of us we've been We've been uh, really into, interested in the truth and learning the scriptures and understanding the scriptures ever since our youth. You know, me, myself, uh, one, one time my mom made a statement which, you know, made me feel good. But she said, you know, I never saw anybody walking around with their Bible when they were a little kid, you know. So that statement she made, it always kind of stuck with me. <clears throat> So we read uh, verse 3, in that she is conversant with Yahweh, with the Most High, she magnifieth her nobility, yeah, Yahweh of all things lo himself loved her. And really this is what we love above all things is this truth, right, this wisdom. Brothers love this truth above all things, above your family, above your woman, above your wife, above your kids. You know, you have to put this truth first. Verse 4. For she is privy to the mysteries of knowledge of the Most High and the lover of his works. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? Because right, you have to remember, the only thing that's going to get us salvation is this truth, this knowledge, this wisdom. Right? Not your, your, your family members can't help you get salvation. Your, the brothers can't even help you get salvation. Money is not going to help you get salvation. The only thing that can get you salvation is the, the faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and understanding this truth and his knowledge through wisdom. All right. Verse 6. And if prudence work, who of all that are is a more cunning workman than she? And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues. For she teacheth temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. Again, there's nothing more profitable than this truth, than this wisdom, okay? Prudence, meaning we consider the future, we consider the prophecies. 
justice and fortitude. You see, these are all things that only wisdom can give us. And it's this is the most profitable thing. Like I said, the only thing that can bring us salvation is this faith in Yahweh Bashem and and all the, and also the wisdom. Verse say, if a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old and conjunctureth aright what is to come, right? Prophecy. And, con um, and conjunctureth aright what is to come. She knoweth the subtilities of speeches and can expound dark sentences. She foreseeth signs and wonders in the events of seasons and times. Again, you, without this wisdom, we can break down this, this this Bible, the dark sayings, the dark sentences. No, you know, we understand what the dark sentences are because the wisdom, if the Holy Spirit dealing with you, you'll be able to understand the dark sentence. You'll be able to understand the the parable. All right, <clears throat> verse nine. Therefore, I purpose to take her to me to live with me. Knowing that she would be a counselor of good things and a comfort in cares and grief, right? This wisdom is going to be the stability of the times, all right? Nothing else, not the money, not the military, not your guns, not the, you know, people in your family, not your woman. Only the wisdom is the stability and comfort. Verse 10, for her sake I shall have estimation among the multitude and honor with the elders, though I be young, all right? And, you know, looking in at our own, uh, you know, great millstone. Our elders, <clears throat> they're, uh, they're, they're involved, you know, they're vigilant. They'll watch other camps in GMS. You see that because they'll do video sit-downs where they're breaking down certain brothers' videos, random brothers from different camps. So even if we're young, you know, the elders of the land can know us. 